So guess what? It's rattling again and it's actually bothering somebody else now. Do you like the rattling? Yeah. No, you don't. You're supposed to say no. <laughs> no way, Jose. No way, Jose. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing these filler, basically, covers. It should be pretty easy from what I can tell. It doesn't look anything too complicated. And also at the very bottom of each pillar, there is basically no clip. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on most is just adding a little bit of insulation so that we can remove those clips. So let's just get to it. Are you ready? Yeah, peaked out. Peace out, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna start off with is this piece right here. And from what I can tell, you just stick your hand in there and just pull on it a little bit to expose this little yellow clip that I'm sure you guys cannot see because even I'm having a hard problem seeing it. And let's see how far we can go. All right, there we go. So right there, there is a yellow clip. Let's see if we can see it any better. There it is right there. So this yellow clip, once the airbag explodes, prevents it from coming out. It needs to be turned so that we can actually remove this plastic piece. I don't think I can do this one-handed. Let's see, can I rotate this by one hand? Maybe. Now that it's been rotated, it should be able to slide out. I will remove the bottom piece first and then work on that piece right there. All right, so from what I can tell, I can't get to this bottom piece without removing this tweeter cover. So I'm just gonna use this little clip or a little pointy whatever tool just to be able to get underneath. And then I'll use something like a screwdriver on this other side, like a flat head. Let's see, or do I even need to? There we go. Now that this whole piece is out, I can take a little better look at it. And it looks like it can pop out. Ah, there it is. And as soon as I got that bottom piece out, then the little clip that I turned sideways, see how that's like that? Before it was like that. So just like that right there. And then when you rotate it, uh, it can actually slide out. So now everything else looks like it could just be pulled out. So simple as that, there was just one clip that was holding it. Well, yeah, one clip. Really, that's it, just one clip? Wow, no wonder this thing rattles. But as you can see, the airbag is right there. And there's really not much I can do with the exception of just adding a little bit of material down here and maybe some additional material about right there. So I'm about to repeat the same exact process on the other side. Just gonna remove that cover, rotate the yellow airbag holder clip and take it out. All right, so same thing on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and wedge this thing, try not to damage any of the dashboard. Pull it up and it pops right out. And then from the top, I'm just gonna pull it. Looks like it popped out. I just have to rotate the yellow piece. So it's been rotated, uh, comes out just like that. So this is what this plastic piece looks like. The top, this is the piece that actually uh, that yellow uh, tab slides through. There's one little connection, one little clip. The bottom piece contains this little bit of material right here. And then as well as, I guess this is a little bit of foam on these plastic edges. And I guarantee you once that wore off, after driving the car for roughly 25,000 miles, it started vibrating. So I'm gonna add some pieces to here, a little bit over this, and probably that's gonna be it. I mean, there's really not much I can do considering the airbags right there. So and not really much that I wanna do. All right, so pretty easy. Just added a little bit of that sound insulation material, nothing fancy or pretty. And then uh, added a little bit of just duct tape around the uh, two plastic pieces at the bottom and about to slide it in. Hopefully it stops the rattle and hopefully it fits. 
All right, so it looks like the bottom piece is sliding again, even with the additional duct tape and So don't try to force it in, it'll just snap in <laughs> once you figure out the correct way to, to orient the tab. All right, so same process for the other side. Hopefully it will go a little bit smoother. Again, just added a little bit of padding at the bottom. And I'm about to slide that in. Now that that's been slid in. Put this tab through and rotate it. And there's that one. So just have to just a little bit at the bottom down here just because it is getting a little too tight and if you're wondering whether you're going to mess your hands up a little bit yeah probably and now it's just time to slide this little cover back in so there's that one and there are these three little clips that need to be clipped in first little tabs before you press down so just push them in press down simple as that so hopefully that's all there is to it my son is out biking while i'm over here working you can see him right there yeah he just he just rode right by right behind me a little out of focus but you can still tell that he's right there the first time i took even a sneak peek at it i saw that little yellow tab and i was like oh man this thing's attached to the to the airbag but it turns out that that yellow clip is just there to prevent this plastic piece from hitting you or the passenger in the face once the airbag explodes there is one more tiny little piece and that's this piece right here the trim portion and i guess this uh I guess the only gauge that's worth mentioning, the boost gauge cover, and they're rattling ever so slightly, so I don't know. I have to remove a bunch of pieces just to be able to get to it, so we'll see. If it starts driving me crazy like these pillars do, we'll be back. And knowing me, yeah, we'll probably be back soon.